we've showed it, we, we, we obviously concentrate mostly on kind of cultural matters. Mm. I mean, during this whole period as well, hugely important things have been going on, which you do talk about on mm. your show. Again, in the mainstream media, not that much. But there have been sort of various attacks or various proposals for, put forward on, for example, free speech. Yeah. Um, I wanted to start by asking you, first of all, uh, Down Grimes, for example, does a show a bit like this. Um, we had that shocking situation where he was hauled in or was going to be hauled in by the Met yeah. for something that somebody said, uh, David Starkey said, on his show. Yeah. Now, you know, you're a journalist and a, a broadcaster. Uh, these, these things are extraordinary that they're sort of happening. Um, and one, again, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but it seems to me that people are being sort of materially tightened up, if you like. Yeah. But then these psychological mm -hmm. restrictions yeah. are coming on. But this was happening long before lockdown and yes. COVID. Yes. But perhaps it's more exposed now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, a young a young man being being you know, told he's going to be hauled in for a police interview yeah. under caution uh, because of something someone else yeah. said. Yeah. That I don't agree with David Starkey on, on an awful lot of things. Um, I don't think he's a particularly nice person. I don't think he should lose all of his jobs because of his political views and his views on race, on women or whatever. I mean, you know, I, I, I personally think that, you know, we, we should allow for people to hold views we don't like. I, 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 I think we should be able to challenge people's views and it's better that we know them. But the idea that a journalist should be prosecuted for something someone else has said to them. Um, it's interesting that we don't see that when you know, Sky or BBC yes, interview exactly. yeah. people. I mean, did we think about questioning David Dimbleby when he had uh, um, Nick Griffin from the uh, BMP mm. on? Um, I think it's quite bizarre. And, and I always had a lot of sympathy for Darren anyway. A, I think he's a lovely bloke who's been persecuted. That's the only word for it, persecuted uh, from the, the Ramona side for, for years and years of his life since Brexit referendum. Um, and all allegations all have been disproven against him. Um, but um, I can completely understand, and I know this when I'm doing my show, it is perfectly possible for, you know, even if you're interviewing a cabinet minister, and I've been doing this for years, someone is saying something, but someone is saying something in your ear, or you, you're just looking and you, you know, you, you're just realising, oh God, I've got that other interview, and you're trying to find the pieces mm -hmm. of paper for that. Mm -hmm. And you're not actually concentrating on what the person is saying, and you're nodding along because you're on camera. Mm -hmm. And I think it's perfectly easy, especially for a, a young, new interviewer to be doing that. Um, I know Darren Grimes, as you do, not a racist bone in the boy's body, mm -hmm. absolute load of nonsense. Mm -hmm. But it's, the, it's this idea that, that we should be wary of talking to anyone who doesn't have you know, acceptable views. Yeah, yeah. Bearing in mind that your and my views apparently are unacceptable. I mean, mm. We've been called far right mm. for being Brexiteers, for mm. goodness sake. I mean, I've been called that on air by people, far right. I mean, basically accused of being a Nazi. For, for, for wanting to have an accountable, democratically elected government having the say over my country's rules and laws. That, I mean, that's mind-blowing. But this is all about shutting us up. This is all about controlling what people can say and by doing so, controlling what people can think. And it is terrifying and Orwellian. And everybody should fight for it. And I don't care how much you dislike the person saying something or how much you dislike, well, dislike what mm -hmm. they say. You should march in their, the streets for their right to say it. But uh, this is all happening under a Conservative government as well. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it, what was particularly interesting to me in, the, in this, in this uh, particular field of free speech was we've had the situation in Scotland recently, yep. you know, where the, 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 there is this attempt with hate speech to bring hate speech prosecutions into the home, as it were, you know, yeah. that basically you can, you can be prosecuted for something you say in your own home. Then we have the Law Commission here, mm. Quango, proposing this. Now, I don't know about you, Julie, but why didn't Morris just sort of come out and say, well, they can say that if they Not gonna like, happen. but forget it. But no, yeah. they don't. That's the thing. And we had that also over, say, you know, the trans self-ID, yeah. whereas Liz Truss is the one who sort of you know, went, no, absolute yeah. madness. We're not having that. A man can't just say on a Wednesday that he's a woman and we have to accept that uh, and, and then see a lack of safety for women and girls in their, their safe spaces like changing rooms and the like and indeed prisons as well. Um, I don't understand why the Tories don't do that because we know that you know Dominic Cummings was focus grouping everything. Surely this is really basic stuff. This would be very popular stuff of the people who are aware of it happening. And and what I don't understand again is why the government isn't just saying no, we're not having any more of this, um, we're, we're, and they should be getting rid of the hate speech laws themselves because they're subjective. There is no other crime where it is subjective that, I mean, that, is it subjective that someone was murdered? Is it subjective if I steal this bowl? 
Is it, is it subject? The bowl has either been stolen or it hasn't. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we can have a court case about whether or not I was the one who stole it or, or, or whether, you know, uh, uh, something else happened to it. But the idea that you just might think that it's been stolen mm. and accuse me of it being stolen. And I then have a record, which is that it was a was it a non-crime hate offence. That, that's genuinely what would happen. And, and, and that's that's crazy. And that is 1984 Orwellian yeah. lunacy. Um, crime should not be <laughs> someone's subjective opinion. Um, and they certainly, we shouldn't be trying to control what people say and what people think. I believe in public as well as private. I'm a great believer that you tackle bad ideas by offering a better idea. Um, it, there, is no, there is no idea, I mean, the conspiracy theories about you know, vaccinations, about um, um, anything, you know, the, 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 anything that's going on in the world right now, the Great Reset and all of this, um, you can tackle all of these things, I mean, the Trumpian claims, you can tackle them all by, by giving facts. By, by airing proper debate, by asking people to produce a rationale, produce evidence. That is how you defeat bad ideas, not by saying you can't say that, or worse though, you can't think it.